Are you guys ready to garden yet or what? Late March, let me show you what's going on here. And don't forget to sub and turn on the notifications. Thanks, y'all. Okay, so let's start with block one of the herb garden. Back there is the lemon balm. And that is second year lemon balm. It's starting to do its thing, spread out. And I'm going to let it go a little bit more and then pretty much make a rectangle out of it. How much lemon balm can two people eat or need? That's plenty right there, actually. Down the foreground, uh, some mustard plants that I got from a local wholesale or retailer. It's that lucky commercial place opened up to the public. So get that stuff really cheap. You can even see a little tag down there in that corner for when they sell it to retailers. And then against the, the right wall here, I've got two banana peppers and a bell pepper. It's already laying down. <laughs> Let's stay tuned soon. Those are gambles. It's not time to plant those yet. But I'm hoping we're not going to get a freeze. This is the second square, and uh, that's my oregano, Italian. That's third year. She's pushed up real nice. That's about three foot from front to back, almost four foot left to right. And it looks like it's about 8 to 10 inches deep. Good stuff. Pruned it up at the end of last year, and she came back like a champ. And then the third and last quad of the herb garden, uh, that's rosemary in the back, thyme in the front. And on the right is a second year parsley. We will be planting more parsley. Uh, the thyme, by the way, that's English on the left and lemon on the right. You see the right, how it's a little lighter. Uh, lemon time. And in the west bed is um, have some collards and some broccoli. This is the north garden. It's called the west bed. You see that one collard just petered out. I don't know. Maybe got too much 10-10-10 uh, on it. Burn it up. But it's doing okay. Got broccoli running down the middle there. Uh, right to left. And this is called the trench. I got a Swiss chard on the end of it. And then four cabbage. It's basically, we're using the north trench as a cabbage patch for now. Hopefully they'll head up pretty well. Also have a few uh, onions planted in there. And yes, this is on purpose over here, the hedge. All this stuff that looks trashy. That's my pollinator. Uh, there's honey, honeysuckle in there. So that brings in my bees and whatnot. So that's actually on purpose. And this is not on purpose. That's hen bitten violet. <laughs> I'll get it out there and throw some pine needle down later. This, we're in the East Garden. This is called the trench, the East Garden trench. And it's not in play yet, obviously. Probably, I haven't made my mind up, but I'm probably going to put tomatoes in pots right here. I'm growing some triple L. And uh, that way I can move it if I need to because of squirrels. And this is the east bed. We have onion over here. There's some radish. You can see a little bit of radish in the back there. Everything needs weeding. It just rained. I see some peppers in the foreground here. That's another gamble. We'll see how that works out. And then some lettuce. Swiss chard there. That's more radish in the foreground. That's a tomato plant there. That's a Cherokee purple. Another gamble. Gambling with the frost or a hard freeze anyway. A uh, couple more cabbage plants. Another Swiss chard up there and another butter crunch. And another. That's a celebrity. Another gamble. That one on the right there some more radish. I think right now I got one, two, about three foot of radish in different places. And uh, back over there, I will actually expand that another two foot. So about five foot running on radish. And just a quick tip here, uh, marigolds are really good to plant around your garden. They're pest control. Uh, you will notice right there, that's watercress, which I've never messed with. They like to be around creeks. 
something up called water or else or nothing. I'll figure out what to do with that. A couple of straggler tomatoes in there. But yeah, marigolds. Put that stuff in your garden. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, leave your post down there. If you got a tour up, I'll gladly come watch it. Uh, we love gardening, me and my baby Beth. So just leave uh, leave a note down there if you got a tour up. We'd love to see it, and particularly if you're in Zone 7, which is where we're at. All right, peace, y'all. Happy gardening.